Okay, checking out the Tesla for the first time. As I mentioned, I rented this Tesla. And uh, if you don't know much about a Tesla, uh, you might have a hard time driving it the first time. But um, interesting enough, they're going to have some cameras here on the side. So when you put your blinkers on, the, uh, this rear view mirror is not going to see all that you need to see. So that camera is going to help you out there. If you want to get in, here is your key way up here. So I guess I just locked it. So you notice the mirrors went in. So let's just unlock it. And to get in, you're gonna have to push this in. There we go, there we go. So uh, yeah, interesting to get out, you push this button. There's not a handle or anything there necessarily. But I think if you literally pull this thing up, I think that's a manual way to get you out. A manual way to get you out. This is the electronic way to get you out. So, uh, accelerates really, really fast. Accelerates really, really fast. So let's get my little green machine in here. Let's step in here and see what you think. One of the first things you notice is when you get in, everything's going. Um, it seems like the air conditioner kicks on. It knows you're here based on your profile. Of course, if it's a rental car, maybe not. Now then, here is my key. It's just a Tesla card, smart card. Now, it's my understanding you can order a key fob if you're just into key fobs, but you know you can put this in your billfold. You can um, you can program your phone. But what's not intuitively obvious here is. You see anything there? There's nothing really going on there, right? But this is where you have to put the key. Is right here under the handrest. Put your foot on the brake. You can kind of tell something's going on. Put that all the way up into R. Now still, there's no noise or anything because there's no engine to start, right? It's, it's electric. So there you have it, that gets you into reverse. Then you have all of these cameras going on. You have your rear camera and then the left door, right door. So uh, yeah, when you want to put it in park, just push this button in, see how it went to park. There you have it. Now one of the things that's interesting down here as well is when you let off the accelerator, it's it starts braking automatically. So um, you're not gonna run into whatever's in front of you more than likely because it's gonna brake for you. Um, and a lot of times if you don't keep accelerating, you will not make it all the way to the stop sign and that sort of thing. So you'll learn that pretty quickly. Um, of course, over here is your standard left blinker, right blinker. You see, that's what's going on. That's what I was mentioning. You, in addition to your camera, or excuse me, your mirror over there, you've got a camera. So, of course, a little light blinking up there. Now, in the Tesla, there's nothing above the uh, steering wheel here. There's just nothing there except air coming out. So you're driving down the road, you wanna know how fast you're going, you gotta turn your eyes over here to see what's going on. So that's kinda of crazy, that's kinda of crazy. All right, so I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, pull this all the way up into R, and I'm gonna back on out of here. Okay, here we are again in our first try with a Tesla rented from Hertz. It took a while to figure out all this map business here. Uh, come to find out, you know, this is just like an iPad. You use your finger to swipe left, swipe right, swipe up and down. Of course, you got all those icons across the bottom there that you can put in Spotify. Never really found a CarPlay, but uh, in any event, you can get that to work. up the batteries. So last 
last night staying at a Marriott courtyard. I was able here in Florida to have them juice up my car during the night. So we started this morning at 100% power. Um, again, very interesting automobile. Accelerates really fast. Uh, the controls are kind of limited, but uh, one of the things we're not too crazy about is a lot of the controls are over here on this huge uh, iPad of a thing. So if you're driving, nothing right up here to look at to tell you how fast you're going. You have to kind of look over to the side. But anyway, uh, if you like an EV electric vehicle, you're considering a Tesla. Hopefully some of these uh, comments that I've had will be of help to you. Thanks for watching. Garage Random Reviews. Okay, here we are getting ready to charge. So I'm going to be totally discovery mode here. Never done Turn this before. Turn right onto Norfolk Parkway. But interesting enough, if Turn you right onto put your map on a Tesla charging station, it prepares the battery for fast charging. So in 600 feet, turn left. So stay tuned. We're about to right. see how to charge a Tesla first time. All right. So. Uh, Here's the charger. Let's see how we do this here. Blue, I think, says it's ready to be charged, I think. Plug it in. And let's see what happens. Okay, we successfully got it started here. And it looks like we're 33%. 20 minutes remaining on a fast charge so typically these things you can go get yourself a small cake get your nails done get some food go shopping at Petco go shopping at Marshall's go shopping at Home Goods there you have it all right so we plugged in here outside of a target just down in the same parking lot and it just started charging. I did not put any money in. I did not put a charge card in. So we're learning that some models, what is it, an S and a X and a three maybe or something, X. that the first two hours of charging are free. Anyway, some of you Tesla people may know all this, but like I said, we're in discovery mode, learning as we go with this rental, and we have been here about 10 minutes and went from 32% to 65%. And of course, now here we are at 65% and about 10 minutes to go. So who knew that charging at a Tesla supercharging station was free? Maybe you did. Like uh, the super high charging station is set to 80%. So we're still trying to figure that out here. Okay, the big reveal. If you open the hood of a Tesla, what's there? Another trunk? Yeah, a little one here. You put some stuff right here, but your batteries and all, I assume, and the motor's right there, electric motor, but, but there you have it, folks, the big mystery of what's in front of a Tesla. It is a little small trunk space there. So I showed you this, I showed you how to get in. Not that way, right. Uh, the trunk it's pretty good pretty good sized truck here so you can put a lot of luggage back here you can see all that a lot of luggage a lot of luggage and let's see push a button let it go down yeah there's another camera there didn't push the button there you have it, folks. A little walk around of the Model 3. You ask which model that was, Model 3. And you might even want to know a little bit about the tires. Looks like they're about the same situation as a normal car as far as tire pressure. Close the door. That big screen went off. But... Uh, 
get your tax credits, get free fuel at the Tesla fueling stations. All right, let's lock this puppy up again. You hear the little horn sound and that go in.